This is a Camtasia on the Pacha Focal Squeeze XY Converter Tool. So we know that when you do anamorphic, that there's going to be breathing when you focus the lens, and that it's asymmetrical, that the X and the Y zooming can be a little bit different. So of course we've got a channel for X here and a channel for Y. Now what some people like to do is they like to animate the focal length and just the squeeze X. Other people will leave the focal length locked off and they'll animate squeeze X and squeeze Y and they'll leave the focal length alone. Now what you can do actually is with this tool you can convert from one methodology to another quite easily. So the first thing to see is that you want the squeeze X and squeeze Y to be within the range of 0.9 to 1.1. If not, you'll be losing pixels in Nuke, and so you'll get a little bit of decimation. So if you click this one right here, you'll notice that the move isn't changed at all. It's just that you're going to multiply times uh, this value here, or you can divide by it also. And so what happens is that the zoom and the squeeze XY all move in sync, and it happens uh, very quickly and seamlessly. And it also does not involve any baking. And so the way the tool actually works is it's just going to transform curves, and then it'll just put a uh, factor on the uh, uh, factor Y, let's say 1.1, but it'll do to all three channels, and it'll do very rapidly and easily with this version instead of doing it manually with the transform curves tool. So the next thing is that there are actually six different variations of conversions. So if you have a linear curve, just one to one, then everything's nice and easy. You can convert squeeze X, Y with these three buttons, squeeze X to focal length and squeeze Y. You can do all these conversions and uh, only the three channels of focal length, squeeze X and squeeze Y get converted. These other channels will not get baked or converted or changed at all. But there is one exception was if you have a nonlinear curve for the focus distance which actually does a time remap if you use this single situation where you're turning focal length to squeeze XY then it has to make this a linear curve and you'll see how this works also it's the tool works much more quickly if you only have a frame range in the curves here of your full frame range for your shot. So some people like to work in centimeters of focal distance, focus distance, so you can end up with like 29,000. And the way this tool works, is it actually bakes every single integer keyframe plus the non-integer ones. So if you've got a very long focus curve in here, it can take a little while, but we now have a progress bar, so you can see how that works. So let's use this tool. So we're going to convert squeeze X to focal length. So what it does, it's going to take the squeeze X and just make it flat. So it's going to be uh, a value of 1, and then the other two curves will be modified appropriately. And notice that, it's that they do have to get baked. Now what does not have to get baked are all these other channels. The only time uh, that the other channels, which I, besides squeeze X and squeeze Y and focal length, have to be uh, baked is if we use this situation here with a nonlinear curve and we're converting focal length to squeeze X. That's because it's sort of like uh, getting toothpaste out of a tube or back into the tube. Uh, when you have this, we have to make this a linear curve. So right here. So if we hit and uh, this button here, it's going to take a little bit longer. And notice that it made this a linear curve and now all the other curves are set and so every single curve has been baked when you have a nonlinear focus curve and you want to convert focal length to squeeze x and squeeze y